So this is not the final product by the way, but I'm testing out um, an idea here for an air source heat pump to efficiently heat a Lay Z Spa. So um, it's been running for just a little while now. This one here is just basically consisting of a dehumidifier which I've converted to an air conditioner and basically it's just allowing me to take the, the heat outside the unit and move it into water. Uh, and our water being in here obviously. I'm not sure exactly what this the heating power of this is. It consumes 200 watts but I've uh, done some tests today just heating a bucket of water and I'm going to do more calculations tonight and try and find out how much power it's actually outputting. The original heater for it is 2000 watts so this would be considered a, considerably less maybe useful for keeping it warm maybe, maybe not even that but what it's doing is it's just taking the heat out of the air and it's moving it into the water that's all it's doing uh, and the air coming out there is really nice and cold so I've got my thermometer here it's kind of being uh, this is just the temperature of the water 16.8 degrees celsius that'll be the water going in so and I'm just going to see the temperature of the water coming out of the heat pump um, I'll just try and get the water flowing over my sensor it needs to be flowing over there quite well um, right so the temperature of the water coming out is 19.6 19.7 that's actually quite a bit more than I thought it would be so it seems to be performing really quite good um, yeah and the water's still 16.9 inside but because this spa is so well insulated um, we had it off overnight well a whole day I think a 24 hour period and I came back to it and the water was still 30 degrees celsius in it um, the final heat pump that I'm going to make is I'll be using that big SE21F compressor I've got and a huge refrigerant to air heat exchanger and I'll need to um, get an extra one of these water filter housings with 6mm tube so I can double the size of the condenser because that compressor is so powerful it does give off a heck of a heat um, but I think this little unit would happily keep the the spa warm anyway uh, that's because it's, it's not terribly powerful I reckon it's maybe giving out maybe 400 watts of heating power um, and it's working so well because the water, water going into it is that cold when the water starts getting up to 30 degrees C there's a possibility of a compressor inside this overheating because it's not fan cooled but my new heat pump that I'm going to make should uh, hopefully help that Okay, got some light now. Um, so basically all we've got is the power supply running a water pump. And I basically just have to suck on the pipe to prime the pump. And it's all... It's connected up here. It's, the water's getting sucked in there. And it's just coming out there. You can actually feel that it is slightly warmer coming out there. But, um, as I said, this, this heater pro is going to be very ineffective to heat it up in any reasonable amount of time more of a keep warm thing but I intend this to be mainly an air conditioner I'm not going to use this as the final heater ok so let's measure the temperature of the air going in to the heat pump it uh, seems to be about 12.6 in the air coming out See what that drops to. Five point five point nine six degrees Celsius. Now going in, yeah, it's taking quite a lot of heat out there. A good idea would probably have to beat up this air conditioner dehumidifier inside the cabin, and uh, have maybe um, the tubes running just outside to the hot tub so it's kind of using the waste heat of this air conditioner to keep things warm but really I'm just messing about just now and uh, 
I'll show you the final more powerful product when I build that uh, but I need to buy more pieces first okay so I'm just gonna add a bit on at the end here I've done the power calculation so I had a bucket of water earlier and it took 25 minutes and 42 seconds to raise the temperature of the water by 10.7 degrees Celsius it started at 16.2 degrees Celsius and I rose the temperature up to 26.9 and after that I did the calculation um, on this process heating services calculator so I had the volume of fluid to heat in litres 15 temperature rise required so I just took away the, the end temperature um, away from the start temperature or the start away from the end rather I got 10.7 and uh, I basically just played with the power of the heating element in kilowatt until I got as close to the time I recorded with a stopwatch. Um, so I was actually right, it's, the heat pump is producing about 440 watts of heating power, roughly. Or it may actually be slightly more once it's stabilised because um, it does take quite a few minutes for the discharge of the heat pump that I've got to actually get hot so yeah it's, it's roughly 400 watts 